Ladies and gentlemen, I'll have a live stream on this at around 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Be here. I know that people watching this initially won't really believe that impeachment has started. But impeachment has begun, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people watching. I think a great many people who understand what's going on see what's taking place. Hunter and Joe took money from all different interests around the world. Trump did not. But Hunter and Joe and people around them took interest, took money, then altered U.S. foreign policy. Trump did not do so. He never pressured anyone. There's zero evidence that he ever did. Now, there are people who say that he did, but there's no evidence. Even the president of that country being invaded now under Biden's watch, under the watch of Democrats, stated that he was never pressured or leveraged by Donald Trump, ever. There was an ellipsis they accused Trump of. They say that Kushner is doing the same thing as Hunter. Not true. There are banking transactions, 150 according to CBS News, that are uh, problematic activity reports investigated by financial institutions, according to CBS News. There are 150, according to the New York Post, family banking reports linked to Biden that the Treasury the Treasury Department is blocking. Okay, you have Treasury Department obstructing investigations, going to bat for Biden, and this is taking place with actual money flow, okay? He's going to get impeached. James Comer and Jim Jordan have already begun the impeachment process. We're going to talk about this tonight on the live stream. I know that people don't, like, oh, nothing's ever going to happen. It's the... The Durham probe, if you read the indictments, first of all, uh, Kevin Kleinsmith pled guilty. He would have been indicted had he not pled guilty, or had he would have been convicted had he not pled guilty. Um, so that was for altering and falsifying information to deceive a judge. Then we got the information that Sussman was paid by Clinton, that the Steele dossier not only was purchased by Clinton, but other attempts at disparaging Trump were financed by Clinton and the Democratic Party. And you had tech people, you had a whole bunch of people working to accuse Trump of things he never did. So we learned that from the Durham probe, okay? Trump never worked with the Kremlin, never pressured anybody in Georgia, never committed a crime in New York, never organized the uh, terrible day in January, wasn't indicted for anything. Say it slowly, morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat who might be stumbling upon this wonderful person who thinks that, oh, I'm completely nuts. Say this slowly. Trump was never indicted for anything, okay, because he didn't commit a crime. Now, the rebuttal could be, well, neither was Hunter or Hillary, okay? There's a reason why they weren't. With Trump, he literally didn't commit a crime. But they went after him and investigated him because they despise him. Hunter and Hillary did commit crimes. Joe did also. But they're Democrats. And they have all of me. Jimmy Kimmel, when Jimmy Kimmel spends every waking hour in the evening going after Trump, when Seth Meyers, Stephen Colbert, uh, Vanity Fair, Esquire, Rolling Stone, uh, Times, Washington Post, The Atlantic, New Yorker, New York Magazine, all of Twitter prior to the the Twitter, the, the Elon Musk. You have a you have an entire monstrosity. Then you have loyalists within the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and Jim Jordan is interviewing sixteen uh, FBI employees. This is CNN. Jim Jordan requests interviews with sixteen uh, whistleblowers. And these people will re will reveal what's really going on. You have government agencies siding with Democrats. This is not like hyperbole or conspiratorial. We already know that they're only investigating Trump. And when they when they try to investigate Biden, it's completely hands off. There's nothing like the Mar-a-Lago raid. And when they investigate Biden, what they're doing is, oh, we have this classified data issue. Okay. The man essentially, not saying he did, but the, the, the equivalent scenario would be like a person robbing a bank 
And then, oh, well, we're investigating him on a parking ticket, so we're very even-handed. It's like, no, you have 150 suspicious activity reports, millions of dollars upon millions of dollars going to uh, Hunter's businesses. Joe knew of this. He lied. There's an article I read and the other day. I think it was in Vanity Fair or something. Oh, you know the if if you if you're not if you don't if you if you don't trust sorry if you trust Trump or you if then the FBI isn't for you or the FBI isn't for you if you don't distrust Trump something like that. It's like well you could say the same thing about Hunter and Hillary and Joe. Imagine if there were loyalists at the bureau who sided with Trump, and then an article was written. Well, if you trust Hillary, the FBI isn't for you. Okay. And I think Hillary Clinton will be the 24 nominee. I don't think that they want Biden because the impeachment is going to reveal the New York Post emails that show clear felonies. Okay, This is about felonies. They're like, oh, Kushner did the same thing. No, no, he didn't. They never forced out a, an official in another country. And the Democrats defending that decision never had access to, to Hunter's emails. So how could they possibly know? They're like, oh, it was to force out a prosecutor that wasn't doing his job. It's not an American vice president's responsibility to force out any prosecutors in another country. Go try doing that to France or Germany or any other country. It's not anyone's responsibility other than the, the, the country itself. Biden had, even the people that he was actually, like, you know, you know, forcing, like, Biden actually told, we, I, we will not get a billion in loan guarantees, and unless you force out a prosecutor, who was investigating the company, the corporation, that was paying Hunter 80 grand a month? And the rebuttal was, you don't have that authority. Then, so even the people that he was blackmailing knew that he didn't have the authority, but he's, then Biden said, "Go, go, call the president. Go, call President Obama." It's, uh, it's. He told on himself. He told on himself. Well, you can watch the Council on Foreign Relations clip. But James Comer has opened up an investigation. House panel, House Oversight Panel will hold hearings on probe into Biden financial, family financial dealings. It's right there. It's part of the weaponization investigation as well. The reason that this is going on, the, the impeachment is twofold. One is to find out why the Federal Bureau of Investigation hasn't done its job regarding massive felonies, violations of the law, Hunter, Joe, everyone around them. That's according to Chuck Schumer. Uh, and, and I'm sorry, <laughs> not Chuck Schumer, uh, Chuck Grassley. Chuck Schumer doesn't get, it's a political machine, so they, you know. But they've already begun impeachment. Um... And that's not hyperbole. The impeachment is twofold. One is to find out why you had government agencies weaponized against the Republican Party. If you don't, if you're coming from the Democratic Party, or if you're a journalist, or you're a writer, and you're saying, "Well, that's not true. There's no evidence of that." There are only investigations of Trump on hearsay, gossip, innuendo, you know, suspicion. Where are the investigations up until recently of Hunter and Joe? And they have money flow, and they're very shady activity. They made a big deal about an ellipsis, a phone call. Do you understand how Democrats have managed to alter reality in the most absurd manner? Actual business dealings with businesses that serve as intelligence fronts, servers siphoning top secret intel outside of the United States government, that's not national security. A phone conversation about Trump asking somebody to investigate Biden is national security. This is like complete bizarro world. They would, they, the Democrats talk about the framers and all that. None of the founding fathers would allow servers, if they were lived today, to be siphoning classified data outside of the United States government. And nobody even knows how it was possible. And certainly everybody in American history, would have known that, yeah, Hunter is a conduit so Joe can get rich. It's not, this is according to the New York Post, Daily Mail, The Federalist, Daily Caller, um, Tom Fitton, we can go down the list. Anybody who looks at what's going on, they're giving money to businesses run by Joe and Hunter because Joe has is vice president. 
One example is he forced out a prosecutor. And no, it wasn't because the prosecutor wasn't doing his job because it wasn't Biden's job to force out any prosecutor in France or Germany uh, or any country in the world. That's not his role as vice president, and he never was given the authority to do so. And we don't have any evidence that he was ever given the authority to do so. And we can see that if, his, if Hunter is on the board of directors, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. And according to Rudy Giuliani, uh, who used to be America's mayor not long ago before Democrats uh, completely turned the world upside down, and now he's a big problem, big security threats. Like, national security is not what it used to be. It used to be actually, uh, like, bribery, making sure people don't, don't engage in graft. Now it's, oh, you want to investigate us for possible graft. How dare you? But Giuliani stated, he, the man that, they was, that, that was kicked out stated he would testify under oath in front of Congress. But they never did that. I wonder why. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. I'll be here at about 535.45. Thanks, everybody. Impeachment has started, by the way. I'm not, not sure that anybody really cares. Give me